Um, the government's information on HEPA filters in schools has been all over the place, to put it very mildly. After months of campaigning by PBP, by trade unions, by parents, by teachers, the government has been dragged kicking and screaming to accept the necessity in some limited, it seems, circumstances of HEPA filters in school. It's some progress, some new money actually promised this week. Um, inadequate, and I would ask the Taoiseach to consider the amount of money. I was talking to a principal the other day of a school with 400 pupils, 15 classrooms, they'll get €6,000 extra. According to your figures, they'll be able to put one HEPA filter in every third classroom. So the principal will have to choose. And this principal says that this school absolutely does need the HEPA filters. Um, it also means putting the burden on teachers and principals to go out into the market and buy these for themselves as opposed to the Department of Education getting them. But it also poses a question about something Minister Donnelly said twice. He said it first on today with Claire Byrne on 29th November about HEPA filters, where he claimed, quote, the advice we have from AMRIC, who, who look at this in great, great detail, is not to put them in. He repeated effectively the same on prime time on the 30th of November. It was a surprise to me and to the NEFET expert group on ventilation as well. So I wrote a PQ to the Minister to ask for a copy of the advice where AMRIC advises against HEPA filters. And from the answer it's very clear no such advice was ever given. AMRIC did not advise against uh, HEPA filters. Once again it seems the Minister was simply making it up as he was going along. The advice that Minister Donnelly was hiding behind on RTE on two occasions to defend the absence of HEPA filters to keep students and teachers safe in school did not exist. So Tijak, can you have confidence in a minister who is making things up on RTE to explain away the disastrous policy of your government? Of uh, schools, um, again, uh, we have followed public health advice all the way on schools. Um, and that has been the, the, the consistent approach from the, from the beginning of, of, of the pandemic. And there's been a specialist team in terms of public health advice from the HSE that has advised consistently uh, in terms of schools and how to approach schools um, in, in, in respect of that. Um, and um, again, you know, the, the, the overall picture is that the, the, the booster vaccination programme is really gaining momentum. Uh, there will be further developments, further expansion um, of it. Um, and you know, our focus right now uh, is in relation to uh, really uh, expanding the booster programme and making sure that people are conscious of the, the significant threat that Omicron represents. And it is an issue of real concern to us all in respect of its impact. Minister,